Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Super Smash Brothers. A couple of things before we start, because this is actually going to be our last video in classic mode, or one player game, so I have to mention, uh, I want to mention a couple of things before we exit this mode. Uh, first of all, I, I got Jigglypuff's unlockable, or uh, how to unlock her, the requirements for unlock, walk, uh, the requirements for unlocking her are wrong. You actually have to beat classic mode in any difficulty, no matter what, like any. You can do it in any way possible, and if you also, like, if you unlock Captain Falcon, like, you beat Classic in under 20 minutes, then you'll fight Captain Falcon instead of Jigglypuff if you haven't unlocked either of them yet. And the same goes for Ness, but I'll obviously talk about that during this one player game. See, so yeah, there's that. I also forgot to mention Captain Falcon's uh, colors. I mean, you saw them, but I didn't show them off. There's black one, red one, white one, and then there's the standard purple and yellow one. So that's that, and also, uh, you can change the time to infinite if you want. I think they showed us off once, but, um, I just keep it at five, because you never really need that much time. Yeah, we're gonna start our one player game with Ness. But, I have to say that I have failed this several times, or twice, because, well, it's so freaking hard. It is ridiculous how hard this is. I don't care... I'm changing this to normal. I might do. I probably should do hard, but no, I'm doing normal. I know it's kind of pathetic. Oh, by the way, costumes: yellow, blue, green. I'll be yellow. I don't care. It's way too freaking hard, and I just want to get this over. Well, I just really don't want to. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't want to. Something, I don't know. But that classic mode is so freaking hard. I've died several times, got multiple game overs, and I couldn't. And the, also, the videos were incredibly long, too. So, yeah. It was just a huge pain. In fact, during my fight with the fun, fighting Polygon team, I lost all five of my lives in one freaking match. And it wasn't even it wasn't even like in the last couple ones. There was like ten left. And like it always seemed like on the first freaking third, I'd lose two lives. And then I'd possibly lose a third. But whatever. So yeah, uh, Ness is from the Earthbound games, uh, and by the way, I have absolutely no experience with, uh, any Earthbound games whatsoever. I've never even watched much gameplay. I've seen one review of the game, but I've never, ex like, know much about it. I don't even know what the story is. I, all I know, really, is that it's an RPG for the Super Nintendo, and Ness is the main character, and that... A couple of the moves he uses in the game, like, you know, the ones he uses in this game. And there are a couple other games in this series of the Northbound. There's Mother for the uh, original Final Com, it wasn't released in the US, and Mother 3 for the GBA, which also wasn't released in the US, or I don't think anywhere else in the, than Japan. And Mother 2 is actually Earthbound, so that's where. The no, name Earth Baron comes from. I don't know why they call it that, but whatever. But yeah, Ness is a very one of my favorite characters in the game. Probably my favorite, maybe not my best, but my favorite. But some people might say it's all about competition. I hate that stupid kid. There's this one kid that leave. Uh who questioned why my cards weren't legal for tournaments because like as they start cutting out cards for the tournaments in Pokemon. Because, like, you know, they're too old or something. Or they want to limit the card amounts or something. To make it so, basically, everyone has the same supplies and you can get these in stores or something. I don't know why. But, yeah, they limit that. I mean, it makes sense. I'm just not sure the exact reason. But you question why I have cards in my deck that aren't legal, which are clearly not legal, or, like, several, several sets old. 
and like, oh, I don't go into points. He's like, what's the point of playing if you don't have competition, if, if you don't win anything from it? I mean, that was just one of the worst things to hear. Like, you have to be one of the biggest jerks ever to say that basically there's no point in anything unless you get something out of it. Well, obviously I'm getting entertainment out of it. But yeah, whatever. Stop playing or anything. Uh, his attacks are very good. He's very agile. Sort of. Oh, and also the break the targets and board the platforms I played before, so or played recently, so they're going to be pretty easy. But yeah, basically, uh, his moves, his B, standard B, is PK Fire. He just shoots that... Oh, that works. I didn't even know that. Good thing I had to show that off. Or wanted to show that off. Otherwise, I never would have known that. I, I was uh, used to doing a different method. Yeah, basically, he just shoots a little fireball for it. Throat. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah, I know I kinda cheated there, but whatever. I've played this so many times recently. That's not stupid. Yeah, and if you're in the air, it shoots kinda downward. Oh, one move. She's kinda down in an arc, like, kinda like, duck and kick. And, uh, yeah, if, it, if, you hit it, if you hit your enemy with it, it stays there if you get anything that can get hit by it. Uh, it will stay there for a while. It can be very useful. It's very powerful. It's very useful. It's very effective. It doesn't hit back very far, but the smash moves are perfect for that. He actually has moves like the yo-yo and the uh, home run bat. Well, it's secondly not home run bat since he uses a baseball bat in the game, apparently. No oh boy, this is going to be embarrassing. I know it's kind of wimpy to do to not do very hard even though I promised I would. That's half the reason I die in easy difficulty, because of freaking bombs. But if Slim Kirby can lie about not playing Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn, then I can lie about this. It's just, I freaking hate that lie. Even though I'm watching the Let's Play, it's still freaking dumb. Yes! The PK Fire is a very effective attack. Uh, it's definitely a very useful move. I use it a lot. So yeah, that's one of my favorite moves. I think one of those is probably my favorite, though. So yeah, uh... His up B is PK Thunder. Basically, you, uh, launch an attack. Uh, you can launch a little Thunderbolt thing. And if you, uh... Good thing I dodged that. And you can guide it, you, like, you can move it around, but it doesn't just go in one direction. And it's very effective, you, it's very good for hitting opponents who are far away, or if you want to, like, stop your opponent from using a powerful attack or something. Or get the Yoink medal in Halo. Okay. Like, if there's someone's throwing an enemy and you use Pika Thunder and get them away from it, it'd be like the, the Yoink metal in Halo Reach. I never realized how much percentage Donkey Kong has in this fight. Like, I, I attack him, like, twice, and then I'll have, like, 300 percentage because everyone else is attacking him. Thanks a lot, Luigi! Good thing when we, good thing it doesn't like hurt people when you touch people like that thing in the game. See, I think a thunder. It's very useful. 
but you might think it's kind of a bad uppy because it doesn't jump like a... Or I wouldn't like it because it doesn't jump like Yoshi's or Jigglypuff. I have a hammer! And I'm green! But you can actually jump with this. I'll be showing that off in a second because you actually have to do that in this for the platforms. So you, if you're playing this for the first time, you're like, what do I do? How am I supposed to do that? So basically, if you if you hit yourself while you're using it, you can launch yourself in that direction. Like, if you get hit in the bottom right, you'll go up left. You know, pretty standard physics. I mean, you don't even have to go to school to know that. Or research it. I mean, like... That's why... That's something, I don't know. You don't have to be smart, or you don't have to go to school to be smart, but, like, usually... That's half the reason you learn things, because you're actually physically trying... Or someone... You're... I don't know what I'm saying. You are... Expected to learn things, like, when you're just doing stuff, then you're not really learning anything unless you, like, some moral or something. But usually... Wh whatever. I, you know what I mean. Probably. And this is, like, the hardest target in this level. This is really the hardest platform, and... I can't do this. There we go. Because you have to, like... You can't jump, because, like, it's, it makes it, like, really, really hard. You can do it like this. And I don't think it this actually makes it a lot easier if you do that. Because you can't jump up there. Ah! Uh, I really hate this platform. Ah! I want to say every single time so far I've succeeded both aboard the platforms and break the targets. And that's just some really easy ones. And jeez! No! Yes! Complete! Da, 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 da. <laughs> so Pika Thunder is a very, very useful attack. Definitely one of my he's probably it's probably my favorite of his. I really love using it. It's just a fantastic attack, and it might be a little cheap, but whatever. Ow. He'd actually be good for showing something off Samus. See, so yeah, his down B is this. I don't know what it's called or anything about it, really. Hey, 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 hey! Stop it! But basically, um, it's kind of like Fox, Fox's reflector in a way. No! That was awkward. Not awkward. Strange. She launched it anyway. Basically, if you get hit by an energy attack, like like Pikachu's Thunderbolt or uh. I would die as soon as I pick that up. If you get hit by a, like an energy attack, like fireballs or lightning or something, then you absorb it and heal. But if you get hit by, like, a bomb or something, then it does nothing. But basically, you get healed the damage you take, so if they do shoot a fi thunderbolt at you, then you actually get healed. But the thing I don't like about it is you never really remember to use it. By the time the projectile... But by the time your opponent has shot the attack, and it's coming towards you, you have to realize that he shot something, remember that you have that attack, and then do it in time, so you, like, you know, use it. So you never really remember you have it, unless it's a situation like this where you're trying to show it off. But have I mentioned that the mechanics in this game suck face?
Oh boy. Electrified. It's so excited. Keep that song. See, yeah, the zombie is not very useful just because it's never, it's not used often enough for you to remember to have it and use it often. Hit by a home run bat, and it's not it's not actually as powerful as a home run bat. It's a lot quicker and a lot weaker. But I think it's a lot better because because the home run bat is so slow, it's barely even usable. I guess the Metal Mario and Mario 64 could walk through fire, so forgive me. By the way, this Metal Mario fight sucks. It's really just freaking dumb. Like, he's so much more powerful than any other thing in the game. He has every single quality that could possibly be had. Like, it seems like he's even better at jumping than half the characters. But yeah, if I haven't actually... Alright, since uh, I haven't mentioned it, in especially with Brawl, they actually added a new character, mainly because this character didn't exist until Brawl. Well, till it didn't exist when Melee or this game came out. Uh, they added Lucas, which is basically a clone of Ness, but in my opinion, a lot better. He's also from the Earthbound series or Mother Three. And uh, I actually like him a lot more. His moves are pretty similar, but they have little differences that are actually improvements. Like Luigi's down B compared to Mario's is really similar similarable sim similar <sighs> that's like the easiest word to pronounce or not the easiest but it's really easy it's not anti disestablishmentarianism well, actually that's pretty easy to pronounce but it's long and this exploded but basically the only difference is in this tax uh peek at thunder instead of uh Hey, you can't use it, yo-yo. You're not Mike from Star Tropics. I'm Ness. Ah. Hey. Aren't you just like, so rude? I hate this fighting polygon fight. I mean, that's how much I hate everything when I play them very hard. And no matter what difficulty they're on, the computers are just freaking stupid. Like one I was playing one time I was playing very hard against Samus. <sighs> freaking bomb. And she was on the top left platform in the you know, the the whatever. On, on that acid stage, or the meshboard stage, and she had a ray gun, and I, and I was right under the platform, and she just kept throwing the ray gun at me, it, like she tried to throw it, and it would, you know, hit the floor, and then she just keep throwing it over and over again. Like they're still really dumb, but they're just they just become cheaper and cheaper. You have to figure out how to overcome the cheapness. Yeah, different is Lucas tax. Uh, uh, his he get fire. Uh, instead of staying there for a while, it actually just um, goes away. And also, uh, it, like goes out a little bit when it hits something. No. B bombs. Seriously, that is half the reason I die in this game. So far, it's all the reasons I've died in this freaking level. Because of bombs! They're so annoying. And his, uh, Pika Thunder, instead of just, uh, 
going uh, through the enemy. Like, it, instead of just disappearing when you hit it, it actually can keep hitting them consecutively, but it's a lot weaker, of course. And his first, the dumbest one that's just worse, it, like, there's no question. Oh my god! Seriously, like, that. What, what was I supposed to do? He, it, there was no avoiding that. Vegetarian. And his with his the absorbing energy thing, it holds that in front of him, so if you attack him from the back, it doesn't do that. I, I might heal more or something, which is dumb. And also his B attack, which was not PK Fire. In the later games they changed his B to something else. And gave PK Fire his side B. But uh Yeah, it's actually a completely different attack, well, not completely different, but it's called something different. And I'm sure it had a completely different effect in the game. Or mother. What's Master Hand's difference on different difficulties? He still uses attacks at the same speed. They're still the same power. Does he just use the more annoying ones more often? It's really dumb. If that is the case. Oh boy. Ugh, I'm not gonna make it! I was really close though, I might have if I aimed PK Thunder a little better. Or if the mechanics didn't suck. And Ness's yo yo is really cheap. Yeah. Let me talk about why the mechanics suck, even though this is over. Um, when you're getting hit off the, like the, like when you're getting hit, you can't tell if you can jump or not. And even if you could tell, oh wait, like there's no difference in the character's animations or anything. So it's just really dumb. And like, even if you can jump, you have to wait a couple seconds before you can. So basically, if you can't jump, you have to wait a couple seconds, press up a bunch of times, then if you can't jump, you have to somehow use your up be fast enough so you can get back to the platform. If you could just either jump at the start, or some have some kind of indication, that would be fine, but they don't. The mechanics are freaking awful. And it seems like you can, you're always getting hit. There's no way to avoid getting hit. There's nothing you can do. It's just really freaking dumb. I really, really hate the mechanics in this game. But yeah, we're done with the one-player game, we've done all 12 characters, three weeks of the same exact thing, but with more rage and, uh, other stuff. But yeah, we've got lots more coast modes to cover, like training mode, which I'm not really gonna cover much. The bonus practice, we'll talk about the second. Versus mode, the key feature of Smash Brothers. Um, options, standard, and data. Because you want to look at this for a while, don't you? Okay, Link was the most used character? Whatever. So next time, we are going to be doing bonus one practice. Break the targets. Basically, this is just the break the targets games, but you can play them free and there's no time limit. I'm basically going to be doing in one video, I'm going to do all the characters... So yeah, I'll see you guys on Monday for the Break the Targets, and also the other videos I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing Bonus Practice 2, which is for the platforms, obviously. There is no race to the finish, since it's always the same thing, and it's really easy. Um, I'm actually going to do a couple versus mode extras, maybe a whole week of that. The extra video, and I guess that's it. I'm not going to be doing too many extras. Uh, there isn't too much to this game, but it is really awfully mechanic or something. I don't know. It's just something that, like, it's gotta be good just because it spawns something good and it 
was good at the time, but now it's like playing something that was made in the 70s or something. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time for the Break the Targets, and apparently I've never beaten Jigglypuffs. So, yeah. Later.